You've heard of drag queens, but what about drag kids? They are children who dress up and perform just like adults, no matter their gender. You are watching the very first drag kid to go mainstream, Desmond Napolis, better known as Desmond is amazing. And as you can imagine, Desmond has a ton of fans, but a lot of critics too. So before we talk to Desmond and their mom, Wendy, get to know Desmond first. Now, I want you to turn around and sashay Shantae. Let me see. Oh, oh yeah. 178,000 followers on Instagram, millions of views on YouTube, walking in New York Fashion Week. If you want to do drag, just do it. This is no ordinary 12 year old. Desmond Napolis is a drag kid, the very first of his kind. Voila! My name is Desmond, is amazing. Desmond went viral in 2015 when this video of him dancing in New York Pride spread across the internet like wildfire. I think drag is about expressing yourself and there are no boundaries. He was only eight years old at the time. Now at 12 years old, Desmond's life is full of performances, magazine shoots, fashion shows, TV shows, and more. But fame comes with a price. Desmond and his family now face hateful comments and death threats regularly. He said that I'm like being forced to do, do that and I shouldn't be dressed up like that. And you know what? It made me feel terrible. Like, it made me feel like, you know, it just made me feel bad, like, and scared because, I mean, he was threatening us with his fist, too. And we were verbally attacked. And my mom was like, so scared. It hasn't slowed Desmond down, though. He's only getting more popular as more kids like him get noticed. Desmond is embracing all things drag, and the young star has a message for his critics. Now you see anyone being attacked, make sure you step in, because being a bystander is also being a bully, and everyone knows that. Joining us now, Desmond and Wendy, thank you both so much for being here. Now, Desmond, yes. There you are. Now, Desmond, we did refer to you uh, quite a bit in that previous video package as he. Mm -hmm. And since then, we want to be respectful because you've made an announcement on Instagram. Can you tell us and the viewers about that? Well, um, the other day, after I, b before wrapping up my um, video about um, a YouTuber who attacked me, um, I made an announcement saying that I am gender fluid because I have never felt fluid like a boy. I've always felt like every single one. I've always dressed like, either one every day. So um, I identify as gender fluid and my pronouns are them. Got it. So to our viewers, just so you understand, uh, Desmond does not identify neither as a female and neither as a male, therefore is gender fluid and would prefer to be referred to using they pronouns. So we respect that. Thank you. Now, I was actually in hair and makeup with you today, so um, your transformation, I gotta say, is uh, far more fabulous than mine. No offense to anybody. Uh, <laughs> how do you decide each day what your look is going to be? Well, I just feel like what I wanna wear is what I wanna wear, and I do that. Like, if I wanna like put on a wig, I put on a wig. If I wanna just make my hair look like normal, make my hair look normal. Just the way I feel every day. Do you design your own clothes? Um, most of the time, but sometimes people make it for me. Really? Wow. And Wendy, mom, do you ever have a hand in getting Desmond ready for the day? Yes. I do. She helped me with her eyebrows because she was from the 90s and she would shave them off. <laughs> so oh. she knows how to do eyebrows. I guess I'm an eyebrow expert now. <laughs> hey, Desmond, you should have seen my eyebrows in the 90s. They weren't there. Yes. And therefore, I still have to pencil in my brows yes. because I used to shave them in a la, or wanted them to look like uh, Drew Barrymore. Remember? Mm -hmm. Pencil yes. thin. Welcome back to DBL. That's Desmond Annapolis on your screen. Desmond is now 12 years old and the first drag kid to gain mainstream success. Now, before the break, we told you Desmond's story. Desmond and Mom Wendy, join us. Thank you again for uh, being here. There you go, Desmond. Um, <laughs> so, Mom, I'm a mother myself, and so I'm just curious. When Desmond came to you at eight years old and said, Mom, I want to do drag, what did you say? What was your reaction? It, it wasn't that he came out and said, I want to do drag. It was he had been dressing up for quite a while. He would steal things of mine, dress up in them. He would create costumes out of cardboard, bubble wrap, whatever we had. And it just evolved into him recognizing that this was drag to him. And he gave it a, a name, a label, if you will. 
See, I have a, a different perspective on this for your side as a mom, although I'm not one, but I had a mother who was a very reluctant, almost stage mm -hmm. mom, not in the sense that people think of stage moms now, but I was so clear on who I was very early on and I wanted her to support me. Mm -hmm. And so she did. Um, and I can see that Desmond is very clear on who they are as well. Yes. But you've received a lot of backlash for your support because people feel that maybe Desmond's too young to do drag. Mm -hmm. um, well, how do you feel about that? Uh, on the backlash part, it's, it's really hard for me to answer that question because I feel like everybody gets backlash every day. We're always, I judge people, you judge people, everybody judges people. But when you become a public figure, you're judged in the public realm. So uh, yes, we do receive backlash as he grows and it's just, that's what comes with the territory. Um, as far as being too young, I mean, that's why he came up with the word drag kid is because he felt he was doing something different than the adult drag queen. He was like, we're not really doing the same thing, so I have to give it a name. Um, and I think people still look at him as though he is eight years old. I mean, this year he's going to be a teenager. He's going to be in his last year of middle school. Next year comes uh, high school. High school. So he's, you know, I think he's at an age where he should know who he is and start developing a sense of who he wants to be now. Winnie, I want to I want to talk to you about the lack of kid-friendly places for Desmond mm -hmm. to perform. So I'm a father of two boys. I don't care about the drag part of it, mm -hmm. but I do worry about Desmond performing in bars. Mm -hmm. Is that concern you at all? It is concerning. So we have started an LLC, and our goal is to start creating safe spaces for kids to perform at back home in in New York City. Um, we've been sending out proposals to different venues. There really just needs to be a safe place for these kids, especially kids in the LGBTQ community, to perform and express themselves. So you want to be a pioneer when it comes to that? I wouldn't say I'm a pioneer, but uh, I'm just trying to make something happen. And then, Wendy, we're getting a lot of comments right now, and this is what I hope our show can do, is to shed light on exactly what you and what Desmond are going through right now. Um, most of the comments that I'm reading, I'm going to summarize because there's a lot of them, is not, to Jeff's point, the drag part, but just the, the makeup and the over-sexualization of, of a child, whether that be ballet, whether that be um, pageantry. Um, does Desmond, or Desmond, I can ask you, do you dress with makeup and full performance wear on a day-to-day -day basis? No. And Okay, interesting. Um, uh, uh, sometimes I do, whenever I feel like it, but um, most of the days I'm just me. Uh, being me and doing me, and, and uh, sometimes I practice makeup like maybe like three times a week, two times a week, so wow. so I can get better at it. Oh, so maybe perhaps you'll be a makeup artist one day as well. Yeah. Yeah, that takes a lot of talent. We have a very successful makeup artist here, Jure. Uh, but mom, what would you, how would you respond to that backlash of people saying, you know, uh, Desmond is too young to even be uh, wearing this type of makeup, not because of drag, just because I love of the, the makeup, age. Though. <laughs> he loves the makeup, though. Um, but no, I, you know, for him, it's dressing up, and it's a way of him expressing himself um, or themselves. I, I have to get used to his new pronouns. Um, and I think that sexualization is in the mind of who is doing that. If you find something sexy that's in your mind, if you think it's a sexual thing that's in your mind, um, what he's doing is not sexual. He's not doing adult themed things. He's doing dress up. He's doing kid, I you play know, video games. he plays video games, you know. He's just a, a really just a regular kid and because he likes to dress up and I think because he identifies with the LGBTQ community, people want to say that he's doing something sexual. Desmond, I think that you have your truth. I talked to you earlier and I feel like you um, are very unique and um, it's very impressive. I just want to let you know that. Thank you so you much. You have a lot of courage for coming up here today and facing all these questions. Uh, now, you have something in the works right now, am I right? Yeah. Can we, do we have a, a full screen of a book cover? Is that what I'm being told? Yeah. So tell us about this. You have a few seconds. All right. So this is my new book that is coming out in May. I'm going to possibly be doing a book tour. It's about the history of the LGBTQ community. And I'm hoping it'll teach kids to love and accept uh, their peers or uh, queer kids to accept themselves.
And that's what it all boils down to is mm -hmm. inclusivity, mm -hmm. right? And accepting your peers. So very, uh, very impressive. All right, so thank you, Wendy and Desmond, for coming here and sharing your story. Hi, friends. Now, welcome back. I am standing with the amazing Desmond is amazing. And we just got done with the fabulous interview. Now, tell me, is this your first time to Colorado? Yes. OK, so welcome to the Mile High City. We do everything real big here, but you are doing it real big yourself, my friend. Now, tell me, um, how often do you perform? Um, maybe sometimes once a month. Once a month? OK, that's really impressive, though. Because as, as I said, there's not, or as my mom said, there's not that many, uh, like, uh, like events. Yeah, places, events. Completely. And you live in New York, right? Yes. Got you. So I can imagine it can be hard to find some of those yeah. event spaces where you can really be yourself. Now, have you thought about kind of creating your own space so other younger LGBTQ people of could course. also do this? Of course. That's my. That, I want that to be a thing because um, I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of kids out there who want to perform, but they can't because places like bar, they can't, you know? Exactly. You know, here in Denver, we actually ha we run something called... Um, I think it's drag reading, so a lot of kids and drag queens get together, and we show them how they can actually perform in safe spaces and do runways and really be themselves at the same time. So hopefully, maybe we can get something like that started in New York as well yes. with you. Maybe you can lead that up soon one day. I love that now, idea. I have to ask, you've been walking fashion runways too, my friend. What's been your favorite runway to just walk and be fierce at? Uh, well, my favorite one was when I uh, dressed up as, I can't remember the character's name, but uh, Deva, I think. Diva. From Maleficent? Uh, yes. Blonde in 2018. Okay. Huh? Oh, I don't remember. No problem. Look, you have so much fun moments. I'm sure they all kind of clash together at this yeah. point. Now, we were like also speaking in the beauty room about your upcoming... Um, event that you're going to be going to and that you're going to be a spokesperson for. Do you mind if we talk about that a little bit more for Pride? Okay, we can't talk about that right now. Desmond's doing some big things, honey. So with that being said, <laughs> we still have so much to really get, get forward on, I feel like, mm -hmm. with younger LGBTQ people. What would you want to say to someone who feels like they're struggling right now to really identify with themselves? Well, what I would have to say to someone who is struggling to find their identity or is just um, having a hard time, like knowing who they are, expressing themselves. Uh, I just want to let you know that um, there are places out there um, for you, safe places, and if your parents don't accept, them, accept, accept you for who you are, then, well, that's, like, I, I don't agree with your parents. I think all parents should accept their kids because that is their kids. Wonderful. So, love yourself and be yourself always. Thank you so much, Desmond. We love